Page 18, teapot gavotte. A gavotte, as you read there, it's, it's a dance, a French dance. And the key word there is dance. I'll come back to that in a bit. And they're saying the idea with a gavotte is it starts on the third beat of a measure. Well, if you look at the beginning, it starts on, we have a two beat pickup. So yeah, it's starting on beat three. But the phrases, I'll come back to that too, you're going to find they start on the third beat of each measure too. Not every measure, but when the new phrase starts, it'll be on the third beat of the measure. One flat, we're still in the key of F major. Make sure you can do the F major scale, one octave up and down. Just go to my scale video for F major and follow the instructions in that. 4-4 four, four time, so four beats in a major, we're counting quarter notes, blah, 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 blah. Let's check and make sure we got the fingering at all. The fingering in the book actually works out rather well. So we'll just start there in the right hand, three and four and, and I'm going to connect everything for now, except for the rest. So it's three and four. This fingering is part of the F major scale. So if you can do the scale, this is a piece of cake. One, two, reach your fourth finger. Let's go over to page 19. You're down. Now you're ending page 18 here. You're just crossing over second finger to go on. Thumb come. Now second finger come up. Be natural. And then the left hand gets to have some fun. And then the right hand comes back. Like you were on page 18. Left hand's broken chords. One chord, four chord, one chord, five, seven chord. Boy, page 19, when it comes in, one and two and, one and two. And I recommend a four, two, one here. Here, just, you're here, to here, to here. I didn't really move the hand, I just moved the thumb up. Here. And then the next line, now it's third finger, you gotta come up. Three, and now it's a thumb. So it start out with three, then thumb. Well, you're in position for the rest of it. And again, this is a fingering for the F major scale. From this point on. Put the hands together. The point is, you work it out and put the hands together. Let's go to the top of page 19. You're here. So now we're going all kinds of places, so watch out. Just real slow. At the bottom, the last line on page 19, you're here. There's a repeat sign that sends you back to the top to the reverse repeat sign. There's a note at the bottom, second time 8VA. Well, that's for that note. When you go back to the top, you're still here. But in the second line, in the second measure, in the middle of it, it says second time 8VA and there's a dashed line. And that dashed line goes for the rest of the page, pretty much. Actually, it does for the rest of the page. So from that point on, the right hand is going to come up here. Well, you got rest. you got time to move. The left hand doesn't move. It stays where it is. So it's a, that second line is here. During, while you're doing this in the left hand, get the right hand up here ready to go. page up here. So when you get down to the bottom, the last line again, that sign there, second time maybe, well you're there. Yeah, you're already there. And then going on, you're AVA there too. Now, you can do this, your second finger, and then once you do the second finger again, you both, both hands are moving. Well, that's not real good. So, what I'm going to suggest you do is reach up the third finger if you can and use that. 
Because you got to move the left hand down. So if you can just reach up and feel this pretty much, then you can focus on the left hand. Here. And then you can play the that right. Otherwise you gotta you gotta move both hands and hope you got them right and good luck with that. It's a little dangerous. This is kind of a happy piece. It's not real fast, but it moves along. But when you can get the hands working together, then go ahead and put in the articulation. I'm gonna use a you can use finger if you'd like, but usually it's wrist that makes it easier. So short. Stay close to the keys. Don't come. Uh, stay close to the keys. Now here in the first full major slur, staccato, but they're both staccato. They're different. Accent. Again, slur that, but not that. Accent. Both hands are accented. Nineteen, page nineteen. And that for the most part is the articulation. It's a little tricky there because sometimes you're slurring notes in one hand but you're staccato in the other. And it could be either way. Either hand could be doing it. So yeah, well, watch out on that. Go as slow as you gotta go to get the idea because it's really important that you get this staccato. Let's connect this here or the other way around if it's the other way around. Then we can add the dynamics and that applies to the melody which is the right hand. So you're going to start soft, whatever that is, to moderately loud. Just each note in this case goes up. The left hand, keep it in the background, it makes the accented notes just a loud note for that. Not the left hand, just that. Accented notes, bring it out. And uh, in this case, it's just the right hand. Now it's both hands. And this, they don't tell you to, but come back down. So you can go back up. Because you're not going to stay moderately loud and then go up to loud. I mean, you could, I suppose, if you wanted to, but I recommend you come back down. This is not necessarily a really loud piece, but you can get loud. I'd, go. I'd come back down. Now they're telling you to come down. Top of page 19, you're soft. And this is, for the most part, the right hand, but these left hand eighth notes, you can bring those out too. Just the eighth notes. loud or moderately loud. Now you're going to go up to loud and go back down to soft. Soft. See this is different than we had before. This is nice. We don't always play this the same way. That's yucky. It's boring. And again, it's when you get into interpreting the music, this is the kind of thing you can do, is you change the dynamics so it's not always the same. It's, uh, yeah. Anyway, add the dynamics. For the speed, picture in your mind people dancing, because they're having fun. This, this long time ago dancing, a couple hundred years ago dancing and before. Just fast, not fast, sort of fast. Yeah, whatever. Something like, like this, I think.
again, picture people dancing. This is where the word dance comes in and it's important. If people are going to be moving to the music, like in a dance or a march or something, it's very important you keep a steady beat because otherwise you mess them up. Whatever beat you choose, keep it the same throughout. Don't be speeding up and slowing down. I'd like to play this with you very slowly to double check the notes and the rhythm. It's not going to do any dynamics. So I will give us two counts because we come in on beat three. Ready and go and. Three and, four and, one and, two and.